In the starring scene of the movie, we see a doctor and his assistant who burns the dead body of a girl secretly in a room because they are going to burn that girl's dead body. Then we notice that the dead body of the girl starts moving. She was not dead, she was an alive girl and they were going to burn an alive human. And they quickly burn that girl by throwing her in a fire burner. After some time, the cleaner of that building arrives there. He hears some voices from the fire burner. He opens that fire burner without thinking anything. Here we come to know that why did they burn that girl alive? Because that girl was a zombie. The zombie girl pulls that cleaner inside. They both die while burning in the fire. Now the question is, how did that zombie girl reach this hospital? If that zombie is in the hospital, that there are surely other zombies also there. And we see three people in a car, in which the girl's name was Allison. It was her mother and her friend with her. They were going to the hospital for Allison and her mother's surgery. Now, the friend of Allison was in the medical field, but he had a blood phobia. Blood phobia is a disease in which humans can see blood. While seeing the blood, that humans suffer from fear and giddiness. When Allison's friend comes to know that he has this disease, blood phobia, he leaves the medical field. When they arrive at the hospital, a lady doctor welcomes them. The name of that lady doctor is Janja. When they are going to the hospital with the doctor, there, Allison's friend sees blood and feels dizziness. The doctor who is checking his patients, he is the senior doctor of that hospital. It was the same doctor who had burned that girl. Doctor checks Allison. The doctor takes all the information from her and gets ready for her surgery. The doctor is getting ready for surgery and they are waiting outside. They meet that ward boy outside and there is a little conversation between them. On the other side, Allison's mother's surgery was about to start. After it, Allison was called for surgery. But Allison's friend felt something awkward because they had not checked her properly had not checked her blood group. And the most awkward thing is that the doctor was not doing her surgery. That ward boy takes Allison's friend for a walk with an excuse. That ward boy takes Allison's friend to a dispensary. There was a drug along with the medicines which he was taking secretly. Allison's friend sees a girl lying on a bed who is wearing a mask. Hands and feet were tied and it is a feeling that she was caught here forcefully. Her friend thinks that maybe that girl was feeling difficulty breathing because of the mask needs help. Thinking this, he removes the girl's mask. That girl seems so strange. Losing her control, she starts biting Allison's friend who helped her. Because she was not a normal human being. She was a zombie. After hearing the voices, the ward boy also arrives there and seeing that girl, he couldn't understand what it is. They don't cover that girl's face, they run from there while being scared. And that zombie girl opens her bandage from her teeth. Allison's friend goes to Allison quickly because he doesn't want to stay in this hospital. He wants to escape from there while taking Allison, but the doctor asks him to go out. And the injection which the doctor injects to Allison to make her faint, it is accidentally injected to Allison's friend. He gets faint and after some time when Allison's friend comes to his senses, Again goes near the operation theater. There he notices the hustle bustle of people. And doctors are going outside while taking survivors with them. It happened because of the girl which was released by Allison's friend. She makes everyone infected while biting them. And all survivors try to go down through a lift. But the light is gone, then they use tears. Many zombies are following them. And that people to save themselves closes the door. A man being panicked throws an old lady. She was sitting on a wheelchair, he threw her from the stairs. He begins to come down on the ground floor through stairs, but he sees that there are also a lot of zombies who were eating each other badly. That man, to save himself, hides himself in a room. Then we see that Allison and his friend are separated from the other people. Because Allison's mother was missing, they were searching for her. They were checking all the rooms. Meanwhile, a zombie doctor attacks them. Allison's friend tries to kill that zombie doctor. But due to electrical shocks, he gets faint. Allison thinks that maybe he's dead. He runs from there while leaving him alone. Then some infected people were coming behind Allison to save herself. Allison goes into a room and there she sees that the other zombies had killed doctors. And she runs from there. A surviving man goes into the kitchen to save himself. Then he meets a girl who was also a survivor. 
Lisan meets a lady whose face was damaged because her surgery was going on and doctors left her after the zombies arrived there. Lisan takes that lady and goes into the kitchen to save her life, but they didn't allow them to come in. Then Alison goes into her room to save herself. There she finds her mother who was faint. She starts running from there while taking her mother. Then a zombie lady follows her. And then at the exact time that war boy comes and kills that zombie lady. But before she had bitten Alison's mother, Alison's friend comes to his senses. He moves into a lab to save himself. And there he saw that some animals had been closed in glass bottles. Alison's friend breaks a glass bottle and from it an infected animal comes out. To escape from that animal, Alison's friend runs from there. He arrives at the senior doctor Chanja. They were burning papers at that time. There were some tips written on that paper to cure zombies. They don't want to give those papers to the government. That's why they burned these papers. Doctor's assistants were dressing the wound of Alison's mother. The survivors who were left, they collected at a place and Alison's mother was infected. The doctor was about to kill Alison's mother with an axe. Meanwhile, Alison's mother vomits blood on the face of the doctor. The blood goes into the mouth of the doctor, means that the doctor will also be infected. To save himself, he cuts his hand. To cure the zombie virus, the doctor begins to prepare medicine. Here we come to note that virus was invented by the doctor. He thinks that if I can invent the virus, so I can make the cure of this virus as well. This thing revealed here that the doctor was making that kind of medicine. Due to which, any human being can stay young without aging effects. First of all, that doctor experimented that medicine on animals. After the animals, he experiences these experiments on his patients. Due to which this thing is clear, that was not medicine but that was his zombie drug. This is the reason that zombie viruses spread quickly. That doctor, after making the medicine of zombie virus, injects that medicine into Allison's mother. But it was not successful. Then Allison's friend asked the doctor who gave that idea to make that medicine. The doctor says in a slow tone that it was the idea of Chanja. The doctor's voice was only audible to the word boy. No one hears the name of Chanja. Then that doctor was about to call Janja's name loudly. But before he calls her name, she kills him. Janja kills that doctor because she doesn't want to reveal her secret in front of anyone. Then she says that I killed the doctor just because he was infected. After some time, he can be transferred into a zombie which will be dangerous for us. He can harm anyone. Now, another doctor and Allison's friend who was a medical student tried to cure that zombie virus. Now, as the doctor begins to inject that cure medicine into Allison's mother, her mother bites him. Now, the doctor knows that I'm also infected and I'll be transferred into a zombie. Then he cuts his hand and saves himself. Allison kills her mother unwillingly with an axe. Now, there were only five survivors. The place where they were, zombies will also come there after some time. That place was not safe for them. Then Allison's friend makes an emergency bomb kind of bomb which explodes while pressing the button. Now everyone moves forward. Lisan's friend set that bomb on a zombie. He could not press the button. Then the survivors think about another building to save themselves from the zombies. They move on the roof on another building there was a steel bar. They begin to move to another building through the help of that steel bar. Everyone crossed that steel bar but in the end there were two people left. The one is Allison's friend and the other is a doctor because his hand was cut off. That's why his load of blood was wasted. He feels dizzy. Because of this, he falls down from the roof. Listen's friend safely crosses that steel bar. But the building in which they moved was also not safe. Because there were also many zombies. The war boy threatens Janja that I'll tell everyone that this virus has been made by you. Just because of you, this virus is spreading. On the other side, in that building, they meet with another survival girl. A zombie was following her. They saved that girl. Janja makes a plan to keep that ward boy silent. She goes to a room where a zombie patient was tied to a bed. She takes that zombie near the door. Then she calls him inside. When the ward boy comes into the room, that patient bites the ward boy. She did this because she was thinking that if that ward boy got infected, then her secret will not be revealed. She will be saved. Then, in anger, that war boy kills Janja. Now, he hides his wound to keep it secret that any zombie has bitten him. 
tells everyone that Janja has been killed by the zombies. Then they come on the ground floor. They come to know that police is outside. The police seal that building from the surrounding. Then a surviving girl who was saved by them becomes happy. After seeing the police due to excitement, she gets outside. Then the police understand that the girl is a zombie. The police shoot her. After going inside, the police officer thinks that there is no survivor. They think that all have transferred into zombies. To save themselves from the firing of the police and from the zombies, they move into the tunnel. While going into the tunnel, that infected animal which has been released by Allison's friend mistakenly, he bites Allison's friend. After moving forward, they find a big hole. To remove its lid, Allison is using her fingers. Police officers were thinking that maybe the zombie will come out of this main hole. So that's why they drive a car tire into that main hole, due to which Allison's fingers cut off. Then from another main hole, Allison and the ward boy comes outside. After coming outside, the ward boy closes that tunnel. Allison's friend who got infected was left alone in that tunnel. Above all, coming outside, the Allison and that ward boy sits in the car. They run from there. Allison stops the car on the way because the ward boy who was transferred into a zombie begins to call Allison. But Allison crushes that ward boy in her car. In the tunnel, Allison's friend meets with that zombie who had fixed the time bomb. He presses the button of that emergency bomb. He got injured. But he became successful to come outside from there. Allison, who is moving forward while sitting in the car, while moving forward, she sees her friend. She thinks that maybe her friend is transferred into a zombie. He crushes him with her car. While seeing his dead body and his blood on her car, Allison feels sad. She regrets it. Now Allison is watching the ward's boy dead body while turning her face. Because she was driving speedily due to which his car loses its control. Her car collapses with a tree and Allison also dies in this accident. All were dead. The movie also completes here. Thank you for watching.